Hi, I'm Mira and welcome to Flow with Mira. We have an intermediate full body mat work class today that is going to lift every inch of your muscle energized. So let's meet me on a mat. We're going to start standing up tall. So have your feet in a parallel position, standing nice and tall here, lifting up the spine, taking in breath. As we exhale, we're going to roll down. So we start from the tip of the head and start rolling the neck, the upper back, the middle back. Go to your lower spine, soften the knees a little bit more, then tip the pelvis forward. Take your body closer to the floor and inhale at the bottom here. Exhale as you press the feet down, we lift the abdominal muscle. We start stacking up the pelvis to an upright position and then the lower spine on top of it, middle spine, upper spine, neck and the head will come last and allow the head to float away in breath. Exhale, we roll down again, tip of the head and upper spine, middle spine, lower spine and pelvis forward. Bring your body closer to the floor. Inhale at the bottom. Exhale as we roll up the spine again. All the way to a beautiful upright position. Now this time let's roll halfway. Exhale, we roll down halfway. Then from here, bend the knees, send the pelvis back, go into a squat and Bring the arms next to your ears. So you want to create a nice straight line from the tip of your fingers, tip of the crown of the head to your pelvis. Now from here, extend the knee, straighten the legs, flatten the back, and we bend the knees again. Sit down into that squat position. And again, extend the knees, keep the back flat, keep the arms long. And we bend the knees two more times and extend, flatten the back and we bend. One more, extend, straight back, straight long legs, long arms and we sit down. Stay here, keep the weight on the right foot, extend your left leg behind you. So you are in a little lunge position here. So strong in the right leg, lift the left leg up for five, four, three, two, one. Bring the foot back in underneath you, weight to the left leg and transfer the right leg behind you and lift. Two, three, Two more, four, five, bring the leg underneath you, drop the arms round to the spine, roll up, 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 and we roll down again. And we exhale, roll down, halfway, go into that squat position again, arms long by the side, weight onto your left leg, straighten the right leg to the side, and stay here, we lift the leg up, two, three, four, one more, five, bring it underneath you, weight onto your right leg, extend the left leg to the side and we we'll lift, two, three, four, one more, five, bring leg underneath you, drop the arms round the back and go ahead and roll the spine up, up, Awesome, let's go to the mat. We're gonna stand on the front of the mat here, nice and tall, take an in breath, exhale, we roll the spine all the way down. Bring your hands all the way to the floor, maybe you need to soften the knees a little bit deeper here. Bend the knees, go into deep squat, transfer your hands to the back of the pelvis, sit down, adjust the feet together, Arms are forward, sitting nice and tall here, in breath. Exhale to the C curve. Then we roll back to the floor. Can we melt the sacrum to the floor, lower spine to the floor, stay in the chest lift position, in breath. Exhale, we come up to that C curve position and then we lift the spine up tall again. Two more times, we round, 
into that C curve. Then we pivot in the hip socket. We bring the pelvis to the floor. We bring the lower back to the floor. We stand the chest lift and exhale, come up. C curve and we lift. And one more time, exhale, round back, roll back, roll back, roll back to that chest lift position. Now stay here, bring the feet a little closer towards the bottom, have them slightly apart, and then transfer your hands to the back of your head, interlace the fingers, and lower the chest down, ready for a chest lift in breath. Firmly press the feet down to the floor, and exhale, we lift, the chest up, deepen the abdominal to lengthen the lower back to the floor, in breath. Exhale, come on down, again. Exhale, pull the abdominal, lengthen the lower back down to the floor, lifting up tall, inhale. Exhale, and come down, again. Now I want you to feel like you're dragging your feet towards the pelvis, so you energize the muscles at the back of your thighs. And so we lift, pull the feet towards the pelvis, pull the abdominal, lengthen the lower back down to the floor, inhale, grow taller perhaps. Exhale, come on down two more times. And we lift, Inhale, exhale, next one we stay up, and exhale, we lift, inhale, stay, exhale, lift the leg closer to me up to a table top. We stay up here for the leg changes. We breathe us, change, and change, and change, secure that lower back on the floor using your abdominal. So really dig deep into that deep TVA muscle, transverse abdominals, and lower the legs from the hip joint, out, and out, and three, three, two, two, one, and one, whole lower both leg down to the floor, stay up in the chest, Grab the hands behind the thighs, lift up a little higher. Can we scoop the abdomen a little deeper there? And then transfer the hands back behind your head at the rotation to me. Rotate from the waist over to me. Pelvis is absolutely stable. And lift and rotate. Rotate and lift. Rotate and lift. And Two more each side. Last one each side. Come back to center. Grab the back of your thighs. Can we come up a little higher? Yes, we can. Hold that new height. Hands behind your head. Leg up closer to me. Rotate to the thigh. And leg changes and with twist. Leg changes with twist. Leg changes with twist. And one more each side. And come back to center, squeeze the legs together, lower the chest down. Open the arms up to a T position, press the back of your arms down. Ready for a spine twist supine over to me, please. As we inhale, legs stay together as one unit. Exhale, come back, center. Inhale to the other side. Exhale. Come back. Imagine your legs are like screen wiper in front of the car. So we're just going to wipe across the screen of the car to the right and left. And they stay together. So we work the inner thighs to keep the thighs together. Over to you. And center. One more each side, over to me. And last one, over to you. And okie dokie. Now interlace the hands behind your head. We've got our double leg stretch here. We lift up, grab the back of your thighs. Use your arm muscle, help up a little higher with the chest flexion. Transfer your arms back behind your head. We extend as we inhale, 
Exhale. Extend. Inhale. Exhale. You want to aim the same height at all time with your feet. Three more. Exhale. Two. Exhale. One. Now we're going to add rotation here. We're going to extend. Pull the leg closer to me. In and with twist. Both leg out and twist. Both leg out and twist. Both leg out and twist. And up and twist. And up and twist. One more each side. Hang on there. And come back. Last. Come back center, grab the hands behind the thigh, lift up a little high. Now I want you to straighten the legs up. We're not gonna go down yet. Externally rotate the legs here. Now transfer your arms back behind your head. We're going to lower the legs down and we beat. So we're gonna click, click, beat, beat to where you feel you can control and up, 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 and down. Beat, 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 and in breath up. Up. Keep that lower back and to the floor as you lower. And up, 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 up. Two more times. And up, up, click, click. The heels together. Last one. And up, 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 up. Hold, legs parallel, bend the knees, lower one foot down. Second leg down. Lower the chest down. Brilliant. Straighten the legs. One and two. Arms overhead for the roll up so we inhale to the chest lift make sure your pelvis is even and exhale peel up off the floor into that c curve now we're going to hold that c curve for me pull back in the abdominal but i want you to this time lift the spine up arms long to the sky then flex the spine to a round back position roll back to the floor, then take your arms over with you again. High chest lift, inhale, exhale, peel up and over into that C curve, lifting tall through the spine, arms are up to the sky, and into the C curve, pull back in the abdominals and roll back. The arms are still reaching forward towards your feet and overhead now. Again, inhale, chest lift. Exhale, up, over, over. Inhale, we lift up, nice and tall. Exhale, C curve, roll back. And arms overhead, last one here. Arms up, lift the head of the chest and peel up off to that C curve. Lifting up to the sky and let's stay here. Shoulder flexion, pull the arms back for 10. Nice and tall with the spine, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine and ten arms come forward into that c curve we roll back now just stay to that chest lift position here press the arms down drag both legs up to tabletop then you lower the head and the chest down roll over please we extend up to the sky Fall through the hip, peel the spine up, legs over your face, dorsiflex the feet, separate them hip width apart, lower the feet down by flexing from the hip joint, then we roll the spine down, keeping the arms firmly pressed down to the floor, bottom down, point the feet, reach the leg away and together. Keep looking to the sky and do not turn your head towards me here. We're gonna bring the legs up to the sky to 90 degrees angle, then folding through the hip, roll the spine over. Dorsiflex the feet, separate them shoulder width apart, lower the feet down from the hip joint and roll back the spine to the floor. Once the pelvis is down and settled, 
point the feet, reach the leg away, bring them together again to 90. Roll over. Dorsiflex, separate, lower down, roll back, back. Now, as I roll back to the floor, point of it, reach away and together, I'm thinking, I'm trying to paint number one with my spine. Let's go roll over, dorsiflex, separate the legs, lower down. Now, here, I'm thinking I'm going to roll the spine down and paint number one with my spine down on my mat. Then my pelvis settle to the floor, I point my feet, I reach the leg away, and bring the legs together, I draw the knees in, lower one foot and second foot, and then turn your body, face me, come up onto your forearm, into a bridge, side bridge position, your neck is long aligned with the spine, tuck the knees, feet together aligned with your spine. All right, now here, Activate the bottom waistline here. We go into our clamps. We open and lower and two. We need to really work on the underneath obliques and your lat muscle. Make sure that we're not sinking down to the floor. Yeah, out. So pick it up and proud chest and four more. Out, three, two, one, and then extend the top leg long. All right, now what we're going to do here, we're going to lift the underneath pelvis or hips. We're going to keep the spine long, lift the top leg up, reach. That's it, two. So we really got to activate that oblique. Four. That was a three. This is a four. Five. Six. Seven. One more eight. Now stay. We're going to tap it forward in front of the mat and up over the rainbow and tap it back. Lift up and forward. Lift up and back. We do not want to drop this pelvis. Keep lifting the pelvis high and tap. Left. Forward and tap. Left. Forward and back. Left. Forward and back. One more set. Down and back, come back to the center, lower it down, push and extend the leg away, come up to seated position, sit the pelvis down, then a quick lateral stretch, and we come back. Swing the leg over to the other side. Let's go and do it again. So we have our side bridge position on the forearm, hands on here, Lengthen the hip away, feet are together, and we clamp, and and two, and down, and three, and down, four, and down. Hold strong here, neck is long, and two more here, out, last one. All right, we extend the top leg long, then we press up and we lift, and two, and three. Stabilize the pelvis with that abdominal here. Really guard the bottom hip, push it up. This is how we're gonna get our hips a lot stronger, which is gonna help our posture in return. Let's go to your over forward and back. Up over the rainbow, and back, and forward, and back, and forward, and back. Two more sets, hang on there. One, and back, last set, down, and back, side, lower, come down, stretch the leg away, just adjust the bottom one in front of you, sit on both sitting bones, Side over to the side and let it go. Let's go to our quadruped position here. Okay, now align the hands to the center of your shoulder. And <laughs> the hands, allow your heel of the palm to your shoulder and your knee to the center of your hip. I want you to tuck the toes under here. Right, so let's go ahead 
and lift that tibia muscle. So deep abdominal, secure the pelvis, secure your lower spine here. And then I want you to float the knees off. And we're just gonna stay hovering here in this modified plank position for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, gaze is forward, five, four, three, two, one, we stay, extend the leg away from me, out, and come back. The other one, out, and come back. Again, out, and back, and up, and back, and out, and back, and out. Your spine is long, your arms are long, your pelvis is nice and stable, and we're just gonna step out and step in. One more each side, out, last one, out, Come back, lower, release the ankle, sit back for a second, and come back down to the floor for our single leg kick. So we have our hands interlaced here, like a tripod, elbows slightly wider than your shoulder. Bring the sternum forward and away here, but keep the neck long here. So my gaze is still on the floor, but slightly further away than the mat. Now from here, extend the leg, stretch it out here, and then right leg we kick. Left, and in breath, and in breath. Now secure the upper back, nice and strong and upright. Not upright, in extension, and boom, boom, and boom. Pop and in breath, and in breath, and and in breath, and inhale, and exhale, and exhale, and in breath, and in breath, and two more sets. Last set. Now we extend both legs straight here, squeeze them together. Lower the chest down and I'm bringing the legs down and bring the forearm to the side of your shoulder. We're going to do some breast stroke here. So we're gonna glide the shoulder blades down, keep the legs nice and long. Now, lifting the upper back, middle back and bring the arms along with you. Stretch the arms forward, open to the side, bring it right to the side of your hip here. Bend the elbows, we lower the chest down. Again, we inhale, lift, extend. Open the arms to the side, and we lift the chest a little higher. Bend the elbows, and we lower. Again, inhale, reach forward. Open to the side, bend the elbows, and come down. Really working on the middle back here. And extend, open. Elbows and come down. Let's go two more. Inhale, reach out, bend, come down. Last one. Inhale, extend, reach up tall. Elbows bend and come down. Good. Push the floor away, pull in the belly, and send the pelvis back to your heels. Sit down on the pelvis, on your heels for a moment. We just inhale, exhale, one more here. Inhale, exhale, and now here we're gonna roll the spine up, lifting tall. Come forward, sit the pelvis down. Here we go. And now let's do some teaser prep. So we are going to sit tall. Then we're going to lean back. At a certain point, your legs are gonna go come up to a tabletop, arms long on the side of your shin. Then from here, we're going to pull the belly in. We roll back, roll back, roll back, just to the chest, slip in and come back up. And then we balance, we lift the spine tall. Then exhale, we go down to where there is no turning back. Then you're gonna come up again 
and then come up, come up, come up, and find a balance. Let's go three more. Exhale, pull away, pull away, pull away, and inhale, coming up, coming up, coming up, and again. Exhale, squeeze that inner thighs. Keep those arms energized and active, reaching forward and towards each other. One last. We can do this. Hang on there. And in lifting, lifting, lift tall, bend the knee, grab the legs, go to your rolling like a ball position, balancing on that tailbone. I'm just going to come forward a little bit more here. Okay. Use your arm muscle, really guard the legs here. Keep the shape all, all time. We inhale, roll back. Exhale. Inhale, roll. Exhale. Gaze is to the pelvis, in breath. Exhale. Imagine you're squeezing a ball underneath, between your heels and your pelvis. And we're gonna keep the legs tight and the body tight in a ball-like shape. And use abdominal to come up. Two more, in breath. And exhale, balance. Last one. Exhale, balance, balance, balance. Lower the feet down. Grab the knees, open the thigh, lift the chest into a beautiful, long, Spine. Take a knee in breath. Exhale. Inhale, feeling the spine lengthening up from the floor to the sky. Exhale. Anchor the pelvis down. Inhale. Exhale, softening the joint, relaxing your jaw. Keep the spine growing tall and light as you breathe in. And now from here, I want you to just move the feet a little bit more forward and just allow the knee to flop down to the side. Arms are forward, take an in breath. Exhale, we roll the spine down and we roll it forward. You can bring your head down to your feet if that's available for you. Inhale here, exhale, we roll up. Arms in front of your shoulder again. One last one. Exhale. We roll down and forward. In breath. Exhale. We roll back up. Arms in front of you. Bringing the palms together. Bring the hands to the front of your chest. We breathe together. Inhale as we grow tall. Exhale as we anchor the pelvis down. And on that note, my friend, thank you for joining me today in this amazing class. You are amazing for following through the class with me. As usual, keep your body mobile, keep yourself hydrated, and I'll see you back on the mat again tomorrow. All right, have a fantastic day. Thank you for watching and completing the class. I'm Mira and I'm here to help you to love, look and feel your absolute best through Pilates. If you enjoyed this video, you will love my seven day beginner challenge. Click the first link in the comment below and sign up. You will receive daily workout videos focused on building a sustainable practice in as little as 15 minutes per day. This is for all levels, as everyone can gain a deeper understanding of the Pilates fundamentals. If you enjoy my work, please like, comment, and subscribe, and turn on notifications so you do not miss any of my free classes and programs. See you on the mat tomorrow.